Hi everybody, it's Julie here and I'm really excited to share this project with you. Um, I had so much fun making it. So, what I did the other day, I was putting together a lot of papers in like kits and I made this into sort of like a Valentine Day kit. But I really wanted to play with it and I have been seeing Paige Evans, her amazing Coptic Mound books and I was like, I really need to try this one. <laughs> so I decided to take some courage and make it. So I've been looking at the Coptic Bound, and I think I've tried it before, I can't remember, uh, but I think I have, because I think I failed at it. <laughs> so I've been a bit hesitant, but uh, the other day I was like, no, I'm just going to try it, it looks so much fun. So I took this kit, because it was really fun, and I decided to cut it um, to make some pages. So it's going to be quite a small one, I just really wanted to try it out. Um, so all of these paper, most of them are from the Hello Love by Crate Paper, and what I'm going to do is cut them so they are four by six. So it's going to be like a horizontal album. She usually makes them standing up, and that's going to be my next project. Um, and I'm also going to add in just some lined paper to have something to write on, and um, that's my stomach. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is uh, do that and then fold them in half and then for the cover I'm going to use this really pretty paper by Pinkfresh Studio and it's from the um, their new sort of Christmas collection that they came out with this year or last year um, and I'm going to use that for the cover because it's really pretty. So I'm going to do it super easy. Usually I make it with wet glue but this time I was like no I'm just going to going to do it. The cover is not the main thing here. Uh, so I just took some cardboard and then covered it with the paper and this, uh, the um, Pinkfresh Studio papers are really really thick so good quality paper there. And what I do, I just score the papers before I fold them and that usually makes it a lot easier to make nice edges. And then I'm going to use some red line tape to put them down. And I think that usually uh, holds it down pretty well. Um, and also another tip is to make the flaps quite, uh, make them longer. Um, the shorter you make them, the higher the pressure or lower, I don't know. Uh, it makes it harder for them to stay in place. And then I'm also going to put a paper on top of this with red line tape. So they will be stuck down. But uh, if you want to be really, really sure, then I think wet glue is the best. But I just wanted to make it finished. <laughs> so I'm going to do that for both front and cover. Front and cover. Front and back maybe. <laughs> uh, and this red line tape, I'm not sure if it's acid free. Uh, not really sure if I care. Obviously I don't because if I cared I would not use it. So we have the answer to that. Um, but yeah, so really easy cover um, to make that. And then I'm going to use one of the other papers that I really like and I looked through them and I decided I wanted something with a contrast so I'm going to use uh, the Star Sky Night paper, I don't know what it's called, uh, it's from One Canoe 2 and it's the new line and it's really pretty, it has a lot of these uh, star constellation images on top and I'm just going to cut that. So the cover is 4 by 6 so I'm going to cut it 3.5 by 5 and a half really. Um, so the back side of that paper has that sort of flannel, flannel, I don't know what you call it. Um, it doesn't really go with the, with the other papers, so um, I don't really have an issue with covering that up. So I'm going to use the same uh, tape for doing that, and I'm using the Tim Holtz uh, scissors because it's non-stick on them. Well, stuff do stick on them, but they are definitely better than the others. So I've used that because um, red line tape, if you use regular scissors, they gunk them up and you won't be able to, to use them properly, but the tumult scissors work just fine. So I'm going to use some clean up here and then going to start with the papers and I'm just going to score in the middle, middle, in the middle. <laughs> um, the hard part was the acetate paper, this is really pretty paper paper acetate from uh, Maggie Holmes with some gold confetti dots um, 
I wanted to use that so I'm just going to score all of them and then put them into signatures so I have three papers in each and now I'm going to start. So also in the kit I had these tassels from Maggie Holmes too and if you can see my phone there I'm looking at a video on YouTube on how to do Coptic stitching. Uh, I left the process in here and it's quite tedious <laughs> if you're not interested um, but I wasn't really, like I said, I had this sort of uh, feeling that I had tried to do this before um, but then when I actually started to stitch I like I have not done this before <laughs> so I think I just imagined myself doing it and failing at it and that's what have kept me from actually trying to do it um, but it's quite easy to do it um, but yeah I definitely recommend watching um, somebody who knows how to do it and filming it properly because I obviously cannot film it properly <laughs> um, but it was really really great fun now I only had I think six signatures um, so it's not a very big book um, I think usually if you do Coptic kind of books you have a lot more but it was really fun um, once like you got going and I didn't feel that I needed to watch the video all the time uh, so yeah it was really really fun and I think the basis is that you sew back and forth in the signature and every time you um, the needle comes out of the signature you loop around the stitch you have made in the previous one um, and then you go back through the same hole and that's sort of how you do it. Um, so I'm adding in some of these little tassels I think they are from the Gather collection and uh, I didn't get them when, when they came out because I was like that's too expensive but then it was uh, on a Black Friday sale so this is like their year old I think and then they had sort of the <laughs> right price <laughs> for me to get them but they are really really pretty so like I said before um, I have big plans on making more of these books so I'm going to use them for that too uh, but it was really fun to make it and uh, yeah so I'm adding in some tassels. I think I added in four, which is a bit of an awkward number, but I don't really care. Uh, one of the things uh, I struggled with was here when my thread was running out and I didn't really know the best way to start and to end. Um, but I mean, it's a book I make for me. If I was going to sell it, I think I would be more careful and do it right. I don't know what right is, but yeah. Uh, here I just sort of looped around and made a lot of knots <laughs> and then started over so yeah um, but in the end I think it's fine I used embroidery thread that I have so it's like twice um, yeah or double I should say sorry double um, in the video that I watched and it's from C Lemon I think if you if you search Coptic binding uh, her videos come up first. Um, I think she makes really great videos for this kind of stuff um, and she recommends uh, waxed waxed thread. Um, I find it worked perfectly fine with embroidery thread. Oh here I also help my mom with her website because that's what I do. If you didn't know I'm actually in school for e-commerce development so doing websites is um, something I do quite regularly so <laughs> uh, a bit of an interruption right there. Uh, back to it I'm going to stitch on the front cover it was a bit fidgetive um, but I think I got there in the end mostly off camera it seems like. <laughs> so yeah um, very much off camera oh gosh anyway um, yeah but uh, it was really fun making this project and uh, it was fun to use uh, stuff that I very much like. Usually when I use uh, this kind of stuff I use papers that I'm not too much afraid of, um, that I feel like so-so about and then when it's done I don't really like the project because the stuff I've used I don't really care for that much. Um, so now when I actually used my more my precious stuff uh, I 
came to when I made the book I really liked it I was like huh I really like this and I was like yeah no kidding you actually use stuff you like <laughs> duh so anyway I think that is something uh, we tend to do sometimes we don't use the stuff we use, love the most and then we're not too happy about the project and we don't finish it uh, and we wonder why at least I do anyway so I made this book and I finished it all in one day so what I'm going to do now is just uh, attach the thread and uh, I was a bit unsure if I'm going to keep so I'm just going to add some multimatic medium on top of the knot um, I'm going to add the title and because this was sort of a love theme papers valentine collection uh, I thought it was going to make a little love book so I wrote for the love of and then I decided that I'm going to use it as sort of a love of 2017 so uh, it will be a book about about that so I had gone through some of my photo albums so if I print photos from like a proper printer I put them in uh, photo albums and then when I want to scrap it I just look through and pull out the photos I want to use and I noticed there was quite a lot of photos left that I hadn't used and I decided to just take them all out and put them in this book and it was sort of I mean if I'm going to do it again I might use different uh, different photos but now it's sort of it was the photos I'd taken throughout the year and I told the stories I want to tell so yeah and the book is done like properly so the first one is for love of Viola um, the second topic <laughs> is for love of Fika which is sort of coffee here in Sweden uh, for the love of birds so I painted quite a lot of birds this year so I think you get the title of the book. So for the love of books, <laughs> um, for the love of the little extra, and here's just donuts. <laughs> uh, more photos of Viola because come on, she's really cute. So yeah. <laughs> so that is sort of how this album works, and I really like how it turned out. Um, it tells a lot of stories uh, throughout this year. Um, I used a lot of photos that I thought I wasn't going to use because they were not quote-unquote uh, scrapbook worthy or for a whole 12 by 12 page but in this album uh, all of these stories throughout the year like, just collected really um, and I, I really like that it's not perfect in any way um, I could have done it I suppose the better but I really like how it turned out and the most uh, I just love it's done I think that is kind of underrated. <laughs> uh, projects in all its glory, but having a project done, that is, I think, the best kind of project. So that is it. Uh, I really like how it turned out. I had, um, I just pulled out a sheet of uh, stickers and I used uh, letter stickers, used as many as I could. I had a sheet of puffy stickers from the Dear Lucy Stargazer. I had a little bit of ephemera from Maggie Holmes. Um, her latest collections and I just I used those kind of things and then just wrote wrote a lot <laughs> and yeah I'm really happy with how this turned out it was so much fun making this book um, and it's all done in one day I cannot believe it so yeah uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you've liked this video so um, if you really want to see how to make a Coptic bound book uh, check out see lemon here on youtube or search as coptic bound i think she came up first for me anyway um thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you soon